the geosynchronous satellites are just getting crushed by the low Earth orbit ones, like Starlink, AST, and now Amazon. Why didn't those old satellite companies use low Earth orbit then? You mean, why didn't they just launch 6,000 satellites? If you put one geosynchronous satellite up, it covers a third of the Earth, and it stays up there for decades. In fact, the geosynchronous satellites from the 60s are still up there. Those are at 35,000 kilometers, which means about three Earths out. They're out here. And those are the ones where you point the dish at the satellite because the satellite's going around the Earth at the exact same speed the Earth is spinning. So you can point the satellite dish at it and it stays pointed at it. So you're spinning and the satellite's orbiting at the exact same time, so that's kind of convenient. On the other hand, it's really far away. There's a lot of latency and there's only so much bandwidth that can go through one satellite. Now what Starlink did is really, really different. The low Earth orbit ones, they're only a few hundred miles up. Okay, so that's a quarter of the Earth. 6,000 kilometers in radius. The International Space Station is 400 kilometers up. Starlink is about 550 kilometers up. Amazon LEO satellites are about 590 up. These things are this close to the Earth. That's why they need thousands of satellites to have coverage across the whole Earth. These things are just whizzing by at high speed. The air is slowing it down. It's not completely above the atmosphere. So every five, 10, 15 years at most, these satellites burn up and come down. So Starlink just built that into their process. They're building cheap satellites. They're just endlessly upgrading. In Conclusion, I want you to subscribe.